Hello and welcome to another Magic the Gathering video. So we're on our second of two videos around Planar Chaos. Um, la the last video I did a week ago, we opened five packs, we're opening another five packs. If you want to know a bit more about the set, definitely watch that first video. I'm just going to literally dive straight in and open these packs. However, for the benefit of anybody that hasn't watched that, I will spend some time looking at um, the various abilities and other things that come up uh, in these packs but if you want a bit of a wider expectation, um, explanation to give it context think of it some framework definitely watch the first of these videos okay so let's crack on and open these packs small set so when we we move through this um, if anybody has just watched the first video or can remember it we're going to start to see a, a lot of repeats now so we've got Veiling Oddity three in a blue it, Creature Illusion it's two three Suspend was in the set so on this one we've got Suspend four so for one in a blue rather than pay this card from your hand you may pay one in a blue and remove it from the game for four with four time counts on it at the beginning of your upkeep, remove a time counter. When the last is removed, play it without paying its mana cost. It has haste. So it's a creature for 2-3. But also, when the last time counter is removed from Veiling Oddity, while it's removed from the game, creatures are unblockable this turn. Another charm with a cycle of charms. This is the Midnight Charm. Single black. We get to choose one. So it either deals one damage to target creature and you gain one life, or target creature gains first strike until end of turn, or tap target creature. Shaper Parasite has Morph on it, so it's one and two blue to cast conventionally, but you can cast it for three um, with it face down as a two-two creature, and you turn it up for its morph cost, which in this case is two and a blue. Battering Sliver. Slivers were a thing in the set, quite a big thing. In this case, all slivers have trample. And remember, with this particular iteration of the slivers, it was all slivers. So if your opponents were playing slivers as well, they got the benefits that your slivers had. And the same with you. So everything like stacked up. White Mane Lion has flash on it. Dust Corona. Octabi Drake with Echo on it. So a single green flying haste. There's Echo with one and two green. At the beginning of your upkeep, if this came in under your control since the beginning of your last upkeep, sacrifice it unless you pay its Echo cost. So I did get that right. In the last video, I had a card come up with Echo on it. It was a rare... There wasn't enough room on the rules text, obviously, to print the explanation, um, the reminder text for Echo. But yeah, that, that is correct. So that Echo cost you pay at the beginning of your upkeep. Um, if it came under your control since the beginning of your last upkeep. And if you don't pay the Echo cost, you sacrifice it. Blight Speak. Not so clear from where I am. I don't know where this is coming out on camera. So we've got Revered Dead. This is the first of one of our time shifted cards in this one. So this is a, a colour shifted version of a another card in Magic's history in a different colour. So one and a white creature spirit soldier. It's one one regenerate Revered Dead. I wonder what that could be. Melancholy. Vampiric Link, Rebuff the Wicked, so we're moving on to Uncommons. And as I mentioned in the other boxing, even the cards that aren't the, the time-shifted ones have something unusual about them in terms of where they would normally appear in the colour pie. 
It's just these cards aren't a reprint of a earlier card in a different colour. Oromancers, guys. Pyrohemia is in our uncommon rare stroke rare time shifted slot. And excellent, we do have one of the legendary dragons that uh, feature in the set. There's five of these. Numot the Devastator, three red, white, blue, six, six, legendary creature dragon with flying. Whenever Numot the Devastator deals combat damage to a player, you may pay two and a red. If you do, destroy up to two target lands. So with red, white, blue, if you go through in Wooburg order, so white, blue, black, red, green, you can see that this is a wedge colour and there's five dragons, one for each of the three colour wedge combinations. As opposed to a shard three color combination where the colors are side by side. Dawn Charm, so another one of our cycle of charms. Shaper Parasite, yeah, really starting to get duplicates here. Cradle to Grave, Giant Dust Wasp with Suspend 4 on it. Sting, Sting Scourger, I think that is, Echo 3, Echo 3 in a red. Deadly Grub, this has got Vanishing on it, so 2 in a black, 3, 1, Vanishing 3. So this permanent comes into play with 3 time counts on it. At the beginning of your upkeep, remove a time counter from it. When the last is removed, sacrifice it. So it's like Suspend in Reverse. Aquamorph Entity, it's got Morph on it. Fire Fright Mage. Another Bog Serpent. Serpent. Another Revered Dead. Got Healing Leaves. Joda's Avenger. So for zero until end of turn, Joda's Avenger gets minus one, minus one, and gains your choice of double strike, protection from red, vigilance, or shadow. And as Battle Mage, it's got kicker two and a blue, and or one and a black. I better check this out. This looks pretty uh, involved. So when Anna Battle Mage comes into play, if the two blue kicker cost was paid, target player discards three cards. When Anna Battle Mage comes into play, if the one black kicker cost was played, tap target, untap creature, and that creature deals damage equal to its power to its controller. Wow. Okay, so in our common stroke un, uh, uncommon stroke rare slot for our time shifted card, we do actually have a rare. Molten Firebird, 4 and a blue, 2-2 two, two, creature phoenix with flying. When Molten Firebird is put into a graveyard from play, return it to play under its owner's control at end of turn and you skip your next draw step. 4 and a red, remove Molten Firebird from the game. And our regular rare here, Life and Limb. Three and a green enchantment. All forests and all saplings are one-one green sapling creatures and forest lands in addition to their other types. It's pretty cool. Ah, that is sick. Okay, we have a poultice sliver as our first common. Another giant dust wasp. Another dead and gone. Here yeah, we. So you can see that we pulled that last week. 
leaf. So the dead part, uh, single red, we get uh, to deal two damage to a target creature. And for the gone part, for two and a red, we get to return target creature you don't control to its owner's hand. Both at instant speed there. Dreamscape Artist. Evolution Charm. Reality Acid, which has Vanishing 3 on it. Deadly Grub. Citinal Wood Readers. Just kick a 2 and a green. Vampiric Link. A Skirk Shaman. Another Healing Leaves. And moving on to our uncommons, we have Dismal Failure. Tide Walker, which has Vanishing on it. So just to clarify on this one, so Tide Walker comes into play with a time counter on it for each island you control. So it's not connected to any vanishing cost uh, that would have been paid as a as a you know ton of cost or whatever. Um, it's related purely to the number of islands. So at the beginning of your upkeep, remove a time counter from this permanent when it's not, when it the last was removed, sacrifice it. Tidewalker's power and toughness are each equal to the number of time counters on it. So its power and toughness is going to go down. As you remove those. Excellent. We have a Mesa Enchantress in our uncommon stroke rare slot for our time shifted card. One and two white. Zero two. It's a creature human druid. Whenever you play an enchantment spell, you may draw a card. And our rare is Fungal Beamoth. Three and a green. Creature fungus, star star, each fungal, sorry, fungal behemoth's power and toughness are each equal to the number of plus one plus one counters on creatures you control. Suspend so X, X into green, X can, can't be zero. Whenever a time counter is removed from fungal behemoth, while it's removed from the game, you may put a one one counter on target creature. Salt Field Recluse, another Veiling Oddity, a Midnight Charm, a Shaper Parasite, a Battering Sliver, Dust Corona, Yuktabi Drake, Flying Haste and Echo 1 and 2 green on that. Blight Speaker. And then moving on to our time shifted cards. Fidia Seer, which we've seen I think in the previous set of packs. Brute Force. And Revered Dead. We have a Dismal Failure at, at Uncommon. We have an Enslave. We have a Harmonize, so for two and two green we get to draw three cards. Not something you would normally see in green. And uh, obviously a colour shifted reprint of an earlier Magic card. And we have another legendary creature. Redia Hair he he to Keld. So red green 2-2 two, two, legendary creature elf warrior. When Redia Hair to Keld attacks, you may add two red to your mana pool. Tap add green to your mana pool. So we have our last pack of our second lot of five.
Are we going to be greedy and hope for a damnation here after getting our um, rather nice uh, Borg last week? We'll see. So, starting with our commons, Utopia Vow, Veiling Oddity, Ridged Cusite, Saltfield Recluse, Needle Speak Spider, Dust Corona, Octavi Drake, Light Speaker. So we have Murpho Thamato Thamatogist. So look at this two in a blue, so one, two, creature Murpho Wizard, tap, switch target, creature's power and toughness until end of turn. Another brute force. A melancholy, two and a black enchant creature. When melancholy comes into play, tap enchanted creature. Enchanted creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice melancholy unless you pay black. Mantle of leadership. Joda's Avenger. We have another Harmonize. So what do we have in rare? Oh, it's all the black there. But uh, it's an Extrapate. So a single black instant with split second. As long as the spell is on the stack, players can't spell, play spells or activate abilities that aren't mana abilities. Choose target card in a graveyard other than a basic land. Search his owner's graveyard, hand and library for all cards with the same name as that card and remove them from the game. And that player shuffles his or her library. So there we have it. And I just remembered, of course, if it had been a Damnation, it would have been in this slot, basically, because Damnation was a, a colour-shifted card. So there we have it. Hope you've enjoyed that. That was uh, very interesting from my point of view, opening those. Nice to see the old cards, nice to see lots of uh, abilities that go back beyond uh, this particular set. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.